Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is actually take two of this video. I recorded the video first, and I've got have had problems recently with OBS Studio. Uh, so I've been doing test recordings before I actually start the real recording, and everything recorded fine. But when I did the actual recording, it didn't record my voice audio for some reason at all. So I'm working on some ideas on how to fix that for future uh, occurrences where it does the same thing again. So this is actually take two of the video, and I haven't had as much time to really work on expanding the base or anything like that. Uh, really, just been I've been working with a lot of other stuff right now, the, some of the air games, and I'm kind of at a standstill. I don't know what else I want to do on the base, or then I've been putting up a bunch more of the skull lots up here and down below. I've got everything moved inside now. As you can see, I've got my uh, skin rack. I've got, uh, you know, my food, I've got water, I've got my fireplace and everything set up here. And I've been experimenting with the um, stairs for over there, uh, trying to figure out how I want to do the stairs. Because I'm trying to avoid the gap that I had on this side uh, on the, to the next level so it fits perfectly. And it's giving me some trouble with that, so I've been working with that a bunch. Uh, I did manage to go ahead and get the closet set up. Where it, or at least I've got it built, so now you can see, you know, a nice little closet. I can walk in here and put a few things down, just make it look a little nicer, uh, more aesthetically pleasing. And I've got a bunch of explosives up. Now, I did have more dynamite, but I used some of it on the original recording of this to uh, take care of some of the explodables around the map. And that's pretty much what we're going to do today, is I'm going to take you back to all the places I've been in the last time when I did this, I went and got all the parts for the gun, so I actually have the flintlock pistol now, but I'm going to take you back again, and we're going to go through and see every single location where you get one of the explodables, and show you all eight locations on the map, I'm also going to put a link to a map below where you can find all the different things for the forest, but let's get going. Okay, so if you've been watching the series and watched the previous videos, you know that, you know, here's my base on this little uh, cliffside here on the southern part of the island. And right over here to the side of my walls was the first explodable we found, which, oh, uh, there was another update also I'm, uh, I mentioned when I previously recorded this. And apparently with some of the updates, it's causing stuff to respawn, so now I have an extra part one of the gun but here it is and you can see on the map uh generally about where it is it's way at the southern tip of the island uh but you know all you gotta do is find the little uh cliff side here where we have our base and then it's right here along the cliff edge so now we're gonna go to the next one which is the closest one to get to from here is actually at a cannibal camp uh by one of the uh lakes in the game so see you there Okay, real quick, uh, gonna wait and do uh, for morning to come so I can show you the locations a little bit more easily in daylight. But uh, as I said, there was a recent update, and one it, the they really didn't add any features. They added some new visual effects, mainly particle effects for fire uh, and the flare, the dynamite, things like that have a new visual effect. And as you can see, it looks a lot better now uh, than it did before. So I'm going to let this guy burn up, get me some more bone armor prepped just in case. And uh, then at, when we get closer to daylight, we'll head on our way. Okay, so we're here at the second location. Uh, as you can see, here's the lake with the cannibal village right next to it. And you can see here on the map, the village location where you're looking for. And I'll show you where you go. Plus, I want to check and see if there's some more ropes here. Yes, there is. I got some more ropes again. But the point, and apparently at some point this got blown up before. Uh, so I just got the part before. Or actually, when I shot this before, it was already blown open. I don't know if that was something to do with the updates or what, but it was already blown open. I didn't even have to blow it up. I didn't have the part, though. So I collected the part, and now the part just respawned again. So there may be some bug with the new update that's causing some of these parts to respawn 
uh, on uh, game loads, which is fine. I might end up with two uh, flintlock pistols. But anyway, let's go now to the next location, which is pretty easy to find. All you got to look for is the peninsula. So I'll see you there. Okay, so third location that's easy to access, especially early in the game, is on the peninsula. Here's the big tree at the very end of the peninsula, and a lot of players have chosen to use this place as a base. I did in my first gameplay where I was just trying things out and getting used to the game. It works well. The only problem is for this location, the trees are so far away, it takes a lot of work to haul the uh, logs back. But you come to the tree, and right next to it is the explodable, and apparently there's a bug with the new update that these are respawning every time I load the game now because I've already collected all of them and built the pistol and now I've just collected three parts again. So it looks like I'm going to have enough for two pistols now. But let's get going to the next location. Okay, so we're here next to the ne uh, the fourth one. Uh, it's actually on that little island there. Uh, you can find it by looking for this little stand that's on the water's edge and you can see right there is the peninsula where we just were at. So it's not that far away. It's within viewable uh, distance. And while you can try swimming, I don't recommend it. Uh, when I came before and was trying to record this and OBS decided not to uh, save the voice audio, I went ahead and built this raft and fortunately kept it, you know, here. And while I was actually rafting out to the island, uh, I had a shark start following around the raft trying to get at me so you can try to swim i don't recommend it you'll probably get attacked by a shark if you just try to swim it so build a raft and paddle your way across to the island here okay so here we are on the island just right over there is the mainland and as you can see it's not going to be hard to miss all you got to do is look for the single spot that has the explodable blow it up and get the gun part so Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next location, if you go to the uh, cargo containers and head pretty much straight east from there, you should come up to Geese Lake, which you can see right here on the map. And I'm at the southwestern corner of it. And there is an explodable right here amongst a bunch of uh, boulders and trees, but it's kind of in a little clearing too, so you can see the sun on it if you're there during the daytime. Now, let's go to the next one, which is a lot further up the coast. Uh, you know, on the left side there, or the west, uh, it's going to take a minute to get there. Okay, so the next location up the uh, western coast is right past these two little... Uh, streams that kind of come out into the ocean. Uh, you'll also find it right here at the edge of a fishing village that's been abandoned. And it's a deeper hole, so you will fall in. Just So don't be worried that you messed up and you're falling into a cave. Uh, and then, you know, it's right here by this uh, abandoned village, which has, you know, uh, it's not so much like crates or suitcases and such. Uh, but there's stuff scattered all throughout the beach, so make sure you take time to kind of look around while you're here, stock up on some booze and such, because there should be a good bit of it laying around. But, uh, of course, I've already been here recently and picked up a bunch of it, so it probably hasn't respawned yet. Uh, but now we're going to continue further up the uh, western coast, all the way up to where we're right at the edge of the uh, snow biome. So I'll see you at the next location. Okay, we're here at the uh, seventh location, and the easiest way to find it is continue up the western coast, and you'll find this last little fishing uh, set of huts uh, right here. There's a bunch of suitcases and other stuff strewn along the beach for you to uh, stockpile some supplies. But you come up this little hill and up this hill around here, and just below this next hill up is the explodable. And at the top of the hill, if you get confused, there is a small little lake slash pond at the uh, top right here. So just south of it, especially daytime, you look down, you'll see the explodable right there. Okay, so I had to sleep through the night and uh, kill a couple cannibals, get some more bones. Uh, but here we are back at daytime. 
and I'm taking some cold. You know, I'm I'm getting cold because I, it's the tundra and. An easy way to get around that is to light your axe or a stick on fire. Uh, It acts like a portable fire for you. So that will help if you don't have enough cold armor. Uh, Right here is the last explodable point. And you can see there's the big lake up here. And what you want to do is is on the eastern side of the lake, look for this uh, grave site. At which point you will find the explodable right next to it. And if you want to look at somebody who has built a really amazing base at this location, uh, I've said his name before. Go check him out, Crowjack. Uh, he has, uh, on his uh, survival series for the forest, has built a very impressive base up here and has done it in normal survival mode, not creative. And you're talking a lot of time invested in building that base. Uh, so make sure you go check him out. If you want to see a very, very nice, uh, base build, uh, for this location, go check it out. Uh, but basically, you know, that's all the gun parts. Uh, all you have to do at that point is basically put them all in your, uh, on the pack. And then, uh, you can build them or build the gun. The problem is I already have the gun, so apparently it's not going to let me build it again. I just got duplicates of the parts. But I hope that helped you out. Uh, you know where all the parts are now. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and if it helped you out, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe to keep up with all my content, not just for this game, but for other games that I'm doing. Uh, check out my other game playlist that I'm doing. I'm posting five days a week right now. So I've got a lot of content constantly coming out. And, you know, if you enjoy what I'm doing, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because it helps me out. Uh, it makes me look better and gets me in more people's search results uh, to get more uh, people watching my channel. But now all I'm going to do is worry about getting back to my base and figuring out what I'm going to do for next week's video. But thanks for watching. Uh, hope you uh, enjoyed it once again. And I'll see y'all guys next time.